Hey, Jeff. Hey, Ken. You came to spin up. Yeah. I have your prize. Oh, God. And I'm going to tell you where you can stick it. <laughs> oh, you want me to stick it somewhere? No. Don't you want me to stick it on your hat right here on your vest? Oh, absolutely that would be not. Oh, so good. You're, yeah. Get that off my vest. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it on your motorcycle somewhere. You will not put that on my <laughs> Yes, I will. All right, Jeff. You ready to step into the world of FPV? No. No. Why I'm not? Not even remotely <laughs> ready for FPV. Look at this. This is what you're going to fly, the Avada. Everybody it's, loves the Avada. It's super teeny tiny and very lightweight. It is. And so is this camera. Because when I walked away from the playground, it was stolen from me. Please watch this video a million times so I can recoup the cost of it. Thanks. And now, back to Jeff's first time flying the Avada. Yeah. And you're going to fly with the goggles on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Have you done that? Uh, only with the DJI goggles, the white ones. Man, it's like I'm there. It's like I'm in the cockpit and I'm flying. So from from the aspect of flying this thing, yeah, um, I understand that it has the the mode where it will act like a regular drone. Yes, that's what we're gonna have it on. And then you change it to go into acro. We're not doing that. Okay. No, I rarely fly <coughs> this in what I like to call <coughs> DJI whack row. Okay. Um, because I use this inside buildings and to go through small spaces okay. and uh, i have other drones for acro okay this is a great entry level drone for uh fpv uh you know it's got this so it's not gonna but you <laughs> could get stuck in your beard though well yeah yeah because i got one of those emaxes and ended up you know flying that thing into like ceiling fans and that's fine. you know these adjust the focus and the interpupillary distance okay do you see are we good I got it. Uh, same arming technique for That's the... it. Sticks in, fly. That's it, man. That's it. Don't go in the tree. I'm not going in the tree. All right. Stay lower and come back here to us. Okay. And don't go over water. You got it. See if you can, uh, see if you can fly um, over there and through the, under that canopy thing. See it? You got it. Look at you, you're an FPV pilot. How's it feel, Jeff? Uh, I'm terrified, you know. Why? Because it's not my drone. That's all right. You know, but I'll be aggressive, you know. And... Yeah, shoot the gaps, man. Not, not too, okay. That's good. That's really good. This is your first time? Yep. Damn, Jeff, you're good. Yeah, and you know, it's it's amazing. I don't think the Phantom 4 will let me do this. No. And I don't think my Mavic will let me do this because the minute I get close to anything, it starts screaming at me. What's the newest drone you have? The Mavic Pro. From what year? Uh, this is a completely different experience. Yeah, this this is, this is bizarrely free. Yeah. Because now, what what gets me on this is that I don't have all the alarms, right. and I have the freedom, and the way that this thing works, I really feel like I have the confidence to... Mm -hmm. You say that as you crash. No, I I wasn't going to crash. No. It, it just, again, it's yeah. learning the, relearning the joysticks. Yeah, see? Go, go find your motorcycle. Your motorcycle's parked next to my car. Go fly over there. We got the range. Go around, do an orbit around your bike. Tell us about that bike. What year is it? This is, a, my car. this is a 2000 Harley Davidson Electric Glide um, that I got from Faith Cycles in Conroe. Isn't this fun, Jeff? This is bizarrely free. And look how much flight time you have left. Um, you can stay another 20 minutes out there. I love this thing. Yeah. Go around the, uh, see that other one over there, that other blue thing? Yeah. Is that over the fence? No, it's on the other side of the yeah, fence. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Go around the whole pool. See, you're used to the range of your phantom. Other... Yeah, the phantoms. Yeah. Don't you like flying low to the ground? Like yeah, that? that's one of the things that I didn't, I couldn't really do with the other drones. Yeah. Is anything low to the ground or flying like under the tree limbs and stuff because the minute you would get close to it, it would start screaming at you and tell you that you're about to be an idiot. Yeah, now come around to the children. Yeah, let's fly. Say hi to the children. Now stay right there. Don't move. 
Okay. And now you can use your gimbal. See? Okay. And you can move the gimbal. Yeah, now they feel like I'm a stalker. So well, no. yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, I'm not going to do Come that. Come around the other way. <laughs> Sorry, children. Yes. <laughs> not... See the H? I do see the H. Yeah. That is an interesting feature that the other drones did not have. Yeah. Was, uh, and surprisingly stable. It is. Yeah. Now, come back here, gimbal out, uh, zero out the gimbal. Okay. Come back here and try to find Barkley. He's hiding. He's hiding? Yeah. Can you find Barkley? You mean that person right there? Yeah. Th he's eight foot tall. Yes. And go right up to his face. And Barkley, he loves to help people land. Did you know that? No, I did yeah, not know that. Yeah, you don't have to worry about landing. Okay. Yeah, just get a little bit closer to him, and he will take care of that. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's not good to do. No, it's no. not. <laughs> no, but, it's bad, uh, but yeah, that's not good to do. But thank you, Barkley. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. And and uh, so, Jeff, your final thoughts? I that's I'm surprisingly fun. I, you know, from from a, from a perspective of of being restricted a lot. Yeah. You know, because it was all about safety. We, we kept crashing our drones into stuff, so they put obstacle avoidance on everything to prevent us from crashing, which then right. took a, away the ability for us to fly like that. Yep. And then now they come out with this, Yeah. and we can fly like that. That was a lot of fun. Can I wear your hat? Thanks. Hey. And now I'm going to follow him on his cool Harley. <laughs> with this. The amazing Avada has been out for over a year now and has established itself as a cinematic workhorse as well as a gateway drug for those wanting to dip a toe into the FPV pool. Current price is 1268 bucks, and there is a quick link for you in the description below. There's also a link to Jeff's Merca hat if you want one. <laughs> a little too close? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, put it. Put out your hand. I'll land in your hand. Put out your hand. You ready? Yep. All right, you got to catch it. Hey! Subscribe. It's very important. It, it, it's just a click. You and know. comment below. Hashtag awesome beard. <laughs> Let's go in. You're going in. You're going into the beard, everybody. Oh, how's it feel? How's, is it luxurious? Oh, look at you. Oh, the luxury. So you put a sticker on the back of Jeff's motorcycle. Maybe. 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 Then who put the sticker? You son of a bitch! <laughs> How could you defile the RX-8 like that? <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> Jeff, it was a lot of fun seeing you in person. Sure. We'll see you again next year, bud. Thanks for your help. Absolutely. All right, bye, buddy. Long trip home. All right, see ya. Thank you.